This could be us by the end of the week. They're pushing snow out in Bismarck. It started falling around noon yesterday and then tapered off. However, it did leave some icy roads in its path. Mm, unofficial reports have snow accumulation around one inch and it looks like more is coming and not just for the folks out west. Travel maps indicate snow on highways in the Bismarck Mandan areas as well as Williston and Minot to the north. A Moorhead man going to prison now for more than 12 years for killing a taxi driver. Willie Sparkman Jr. is one of two people arrested for the shooting death of Abdullahi Muhammad Abdullahi. Last year, he was robbing that victim for rent money. 19-year-old Christy Vo is also charged in the case but has not pleaded guilty. Now she goes to trial in January. Fargo police want your help tracking down this guy right here. Now he is 22 year old Tremaine Rainey. He's wanted on several charges, including aggravated reckless endangerment. Now, if you see that guy right there, do not approach him. You need to call 911. The North Dakota Highway Patrol now identifying the victim of a deadly crash near Edgeley over the weekend as 64 year old Renee Wool of Cullum. She was in a pickup that was hit by a semi on Highway 281. That's when high winds and a detached trailer caused the pickup driver to veer into the path of the semi. 69 year old driver John Wool was seriously injured, but the semi driver was not hurt. A woman now facing charges after Fargo police say she hit and spit on an officer as they were allegedly trying to help her. It happened early Sunday morning in the 600 block of 21st Street South. Now police say 35 year old Alyssa Koval appeared to be on drugs and they were trying to help her. That's when she spit on an officer and then hit him in the face. She was busted for assault and contact with bodily fluids. We are now getting more complaints about Dollar General stores, this time about the one in Hillsboro, North Dakota. City leaders there asked the state fire marshal to conduct an inspection. And during last night's city commission meeting, it was revealed that some of the key issues contributing to safety concerns are the lack of staffing and too much stock being sent. And like many other small towns, Dollar General stores are often the only form of grocery stores, and Hillsboro is no different. One commissioner hopes Dollar General officials will recognize these problems and hopefully fix them. I'm hoping that Dollar General sees the situation that they have and how important they are these communities and maybe they can in the higher ups see the need that they maybe have to change something to improve what they're doing there because it is important. The state fire marshal's office has yet to complete its final report. A Moorhead Park in need of major upgrades just ahead. How you can help design a new Romkey Park over Moorhead. Plus, destroyed by a meteor? Well, that's what firefighters in California are now asking after a strange set of circumstances just before a house burned down.